Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will share something special with you. Last week our parish hosted 50 people from 7 different countries. People from Netherlands, Poland, Germany, Ukraine, Spain, Hungary and from Switzerland. My family hosted 4 people, 2 from Poland and 2 from Netherlands. Even though we were from different countries, we still had a lot in common. I learned that we like similar food, that we think in a similar way and that we accept each other regardless of our differences. Throughout the day, they attended different workshops, they traveled across the country or they attended the prayer in Arena Sorgice. First day they were mostly on their own, they came back at night when we introduced each other. Olga and Veronika from Poland and Esther and Ruben from the Netherlands. Second day we organize the morning prayer. It's an event where we sing Tese songs from all over the world. In the evening we attended the prayer in Arena Stožice where all the pilgrims from Ljubljana gathered together to pray and sing. There was around 5000 people. Third day was similar to the second. We were already familiar with each other and we already made some good connections. Fourth day was amazing. We had a morning prayer and after the prayer we decided to visit a city called Piran. It's a beautiful city next to the sea here in Slovenia. On the way to Piran we had a little bit of problems with an exhaust pipe on the van but luckily the van was still able to drive. We also had lunch in Piran and in the restaurant we started to sing. People were happy to see us and they also joined in when they heard the song Yellow Submarine. We ended the trip with a walk through the city. Later that night we had a prayer and we started preparing everything for the new year. Everyone needed to prepare something from their country. A dance, a song, a drama or something else. We had a lot of fun and I can say that every country prepared something amazing. Last day we prepared lunch for our four guests and then it was time to say goodbye. It was quite hard because they were amazing people and we still had a lot to tell each other. Luckily Ruben, the guy from Netherlands, stayed one more day here in Slovenia so we were able to spend that time together. So the next day we went to the famous city here in Slovenia named Bled. We went for a walk around Bled's lake and we ate a famous dessert called Kremšita. We also tried our traditional pizza but if I'm honest I didn't actually know that we had one. The pizza is mostly made from garlic and mozzarella. And then it was also time to say goodbye to Ruben. Home is more than where you are from, it's where you belong. Hosting pilgrims showed us that when you open the doors to different cultures, our home becomes a global gathering place and our hearts connect with people from faraway lands. I just want to say thank you for everything that you shared with us. It's not about stuff, but the culture and kindness that you brought in our lives.